So today we're going to be making some lardies and we'll get straight down to the recipe. The ingredients for one tray of lardies is on screen now. So we'll start off today by adding all our dry ingredients into the machine bowl. Then we're going to start the machine up and let it mix round for around about one minute. This is just to mix it in all the ingredients. Now we're going to add in our liquids and also a squirt of lemon juice. Now we're going to commence mixing this for around five minutes. If you've got a three speed machine, mix on first speed for one minute then mix on second speed for five minutes. Then scrape down the dough in the bowl and once again, carry on mixing on second speed for five minutes. We're now gonna give our dough a really good scrape down. Now it is a bit softer today, so I wouldn't be worrying too much about it. But if you find yours is a lot more stickier than mine is, then add a little bit more flour. Or if it's a little bit harder, then add a little bit more milk. And once we've scraped this down, all we're gonna be doing is mixing this for a further four minutes. It's now time to add in your fruit. Now, once you've added your fruit in, we're gonna mix this round for one minute. That's just to let it clear. We don't want to scrunch it all up so it looks like a load of fly droppings. That's it. Now all we're going to do is splash a bit of flour around. This just makes it a little bit easier to get off the side of the bowl. And all we're going to be doing is taking this straight out of the machine and pop it onto the table. So all we're going to be doing with the dough now is splitting it into two pieces, moulding it up and letting it rest for around about five to 10 minutes on the table. And if you're making two lardies, you'll need two trays. The size of these trays are 30 by 20 centimeters. Also, you'll need some baking parchment to go in them. And now for the main ingredients of a lardie, and this is real lard. And you want 230 grams or thereabouts of real lard. If you're doing a vegetarian lardie or a vegan lardie, you'll have to use the alternative ingredients. Also, you need around about 230 grams of granulated sugar. Now for the main job, what we need to be doing is molding this dough out so it's an oblong shape. Now the thickness of the dough wants to be around about four millimeters thick, give or take. That's it, get it out so it's a nice oblong shape and just keep it as square as you can and always give your dough a little bit of a shake up. This lets it spring back. Then remove all the flour from the top. Now you need to be making this into three quarters and all we're doing is spreading the lard out over the top of the two quarters. Try and get it nice and evenly. Now at this point, like I've said, 230 grams, it can go either way. It depends on how much lard you want to be using. In this particular area, I haven't put as much lard in it as I would normally do. Now, a number of people in it said in a previous video, the lard they made seemed to be floating. This is what it does. Realistically, your lard and sugar mixes together. And once it's been heated up in the oven, it actually goes to the bottom of the tray, obviously. But that gives you that nice, crispy and gluey base. Right, so we'll now get the sugar on. Now, the sugar goes in the middle part. Then we fold it over and then we put the sugar on the top of the dough again. And now we fold this part over as well. Now give it a good push down at the sides. So this stops everything from coming out. 
Turn it round. Put plenty of flare down because this can be a messy job. Depends on your lard. If it's nice hard lard, it's not so bad. But today I'm using some lard which is very, very soft. All we need to be doing is rolling this out. So once again, it's in an oblong shape. Now if you've got too much flour on it, you need to brush it off. Then we fold them over and fold it over again. Once again, make sure those edges are pushed down. It's almost like doing puff pastry. We're now gonna be rolling out the size of the tin. Once again, it's an oblong tin, so it needs to be oblong. And that's almost about it. Give it a good shake up as well. And now this goes straight into your tin. Once it's into the tin, all we need to be doing is pushing it out to the sides. Now, if you've got a small rolling pin, you can actually roll it into the corners as well. But I don't really have a small rolling pin. So in fact, I've just got to push it out with my fingers. And that's it. So we can get straight on with the second one. That's if you're making the second one, or we'll be sticking them straight into the prover. Now for proving your lard is, now I'm gonna be using my homemade prover. Now we're gonna be proving them up for 45 minutes. Now the temperature in my prover is around about 25 to 30 Celsius. And this is the same for you. The best thing is to make a little prover, but you don't have to. You can just leave it on the side in your kitchen in a warm place and just cover it over or just stick it in a bag and stick it just out of the way of the sunlight, but just keep it nice and warm and that'd be fine. 45 minutes would be pretty good for this. The lardies have around about another 15 minutes of proving. It's now time to put our oven on. Our oven temperature wants to be around about 180 to 190 Celsius. And this is a fan assisted oven. Our lardies are ready. So we're gonna get them into the oven. Now we're gonna be baking them for around about 25 minutes, give or take. What I would do is definitely put a tray in the bottom of the oven with some water in. This just helps to have a little bit, it's not for the steam reason, it's more because electric has a dry heat and we prefer a wetter heat. Our lardies are now ready. So as soon as they come out the oven, put them straight onto a cooling wire. And now we're gonna be washing the tops over with a syrup solution. This is 50% golden syrup and 50% water. And then we're gonna leave them there to cool down for at least a good hour before cutting up. Now our lard is cooled down. All we're gonna be doing is turn them out the tray. And all we're gonna do is chop them up into eight pieces. Or I can really do what you like, but this is my standard size lardy. So if you came into my shop, this is the size you'd be getting anyway. Well, there you go, folks. Wasn't that nice and simple? And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget to check out the description because that is where you're going to find your recipe and lots of playlists. And we'll see you again shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters!